I apologize for all the bird stripping, but we are in the outdoors, and that's really what this ring is all about. Today we're going to be reviewing the Kalo Ring, a ring for fitness and outdoor people. Now don't forget to check us out at BetterLifeReviews.com and at Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We're going to find lots of great deals, hand-picked products, and community. Let's get into it. Kalo rings are designed for the fitness and outdoor enthusiasts, such as crossfitters, surfers, rock climbers, or cyclists, or even just a casual person who doesn't want a ring that's going to get all scratched and beat up. They come in a variety of sizes. There's 35 styles currently on Amazon, and they're going for $19.99 to $24.95. This is also a great ring for people with active jobs like firefighters, coaches, mechanics, or military personnel. In fact, Kalo even offers a U.S. Army version of this ring. Some of the styles feature cool engravings such as a kettlebell or pick an axe if you want to make a statement like that. These rings are a great alternative to expensive tungsten, platinum, and stainless rings, which are really uncomfortable to wear during athletic activities. They're made from a medical grade silicone, which is non-porous, non-conductive, and hypoallergenic. I'll drop the links below for Amazon where you can pick up this ring and similar competitors' rings. Now when you get it, it's gonna come in a Ziploc pouch, and inside you'll find a really cool zipper pouch which can be used to store the ring. On top of there is a clip, which you can use to clip to backpacks or anything else to keep from losing the ring. Now sizing can be a bit of a tricky issue. I'd say this ring fits pretty true to size, but I typically wear a size 10 to a size 10 and a half ring, depending on how tight I like it to be. I did get this ring in a size 10, and I really didn't like how restrictive it felt. Uh, it was a little bit hard to bend my finger, but it was more snug. I sent it back to down at 11, uh, and it's slightly on the loose side, but to me it's a better fit. So I'd say if you'd like it really snug, or your ring size, if you like it to be a little bit on the looser side, order the next size up. Now, a cool thing about Kalos is they offer a lot of different styles. Like I said, 35 different styles, uh, different colors, all kinds of stuff to kind of suit your taste. This is a Q2X step edge ring, which, as the name suggests, has like a step edge uh, and gives a little bit of a different look to it. You also find engravings typically on the inside of the ring as well. Uh, and this ring has just the Kalo and the size of the ring. Something to consider is when this ring gets wet or when you're washing your hands. So as you can see here, when the ring is dry, it's very, very snug on my finger and it's hard to get off. However, when I put my hands underneath the water and I start to wash them, then it's much easier for me to pull this ring on and off now. So either take it off when you're washing your hands or go for a tighter size that's going to fit a little bit more snug. Also, especially if this ring's a little bit in the looser side, you're going to tend to get some water underneath it, which can give you that kind of like hands in dishwater look where it's a little bit white and shriveled. So you will want to take it off periodically and kind of dry your hands or get a tighter size to kind of seal out some of that water. Now I might get a little bit of that shriveled finger thing going on. I have not had any problem with redness or irritation, like allergic reaction symptoms from this ring, which is great because I had a previous cobalt ring, which did give me some problems uh, and this has been no issue. So it's a good thing about Kalo is they make really great quality products, a ton of different styles uh, and good materials. There's another ring called Kwai, which goes for about $8.99. I'll link that below as well. And that has also really good reviews, so I'm not saying it's a bad product, um, but generally Kalo kind of goes a step above uh, in offering you a great quality product and a lot more styles as well. So in summary, this is a great alternative to a regular wedding ring. It's gonna be durable, great for sports, athletics, it's gonna be comfortable, won't get scratched and torn up like a traditional wedding ring, and if it does get messed up or lost, it's not as big of a deal as it would be with a normal wedding ring. Now, the downsides are gonna be that it does tend to accumulate hair gel on that stuff a little bit. Uh, you just rinse it off, no big deal and that it's not going to be as formal as a traditional wedding ring. So if you really do business and uh, weddings and that kind of stuff where you need to look more formal, then you may want to pick up a traditional wedding ring as well as this uh, and kind of wear this more for your athletic activities, weekends, and that kind of stuff. Hope you enjoyed this review. I'll see you next time from Better Life Reviews.